Good morning, sports fans. You're in the cheap seats with Scott Kirby, Jake Johnston. We're live at Jim Examus Ford, Lincoln, located at 2301 Woodlawn Road here in Lincoln, Illinois, for the huge 0% interest for 60 months on virtually every Ford sale. Over 400 new Fords have arrived in the Riding Auto Group, and they are priced to sell with over 2,000 vehicles to choose from. Jim Examus Ford Lincoln is just what you are looking for. Open Monday through Thursday from 8 to 8, and Friday 8 to 7, Saturdays 8 to 5, phone 732-2111, and go online to jimexamus.com. Good morning, everyone, and speaking of Jim Examus Ford, we have the man himself beside us uh, this morning. Good morning, Jim. Good morning. Uh, out here at your lot, out front, just looking at all the cars you have on your lot, and uh, if you can't find anything out here, then uh, something's wrong. Yeah, well, if you can't find it here, you probably don't know what you want. That's right. <laughs> so, uh, Jim, tell us, uh, the, the listeners, a little bit about what's going on today. Uh, you know, we talked a little bit offline that you're having a big blowout sell. Wow, sir, look at, look at this. I just jumped on his website. We're out here. Boom. The famous, we, we pull up the website. Blowout sell. I mean, this thing. Sell. Pretty big deal, zero percent financing. I mean, for for slums like me, I'm I'm thinking of a new vehicle, and that Jake, sounds pretty not good. Only, not only will we give you zero percent on certain new Ford Motor Company products, you can get zero percent. Like on a here, give me an example: 2013 Ford Mustang, which you would look you'd look, really look good oh, in a yeah. Mustang. Yeah, uh, 2013 Mustang, brand new, zero percent for 60 months and a thousand dollars cash back so we're going to pay you a thousand dollars ford motor company is going to pay you a thousand dollars to finance with them on a brand new vehicle now is that because of my celebrity status here? yeah yes it is i it, mean it, basically i mean that's <laughs> it's actually because of your good looks and your cardinals uh, jer uh retro jersey <laughs> yeah isn't that and that hat looks like it's been through the ringer that's why I wear it. <laughs> <laughs> he wears that hat because he knows nobody will try to take it from him. <laughs> yes. And he claims it's brand new, but, man, I wouldn't pay for something like that. That's called the vintage look. That's right. That's exactly right. Now, this blowout sale, I mean, this is pretty awesome, but, it, I mean, it looks like, like I said, I'm on your website, it looks like it's not only with you guys, it it's encompassing it's the whole group the whole it's, group, it's yeah. all it's all six stores we decided you know about uh four or five months ago we decided that marketing is is a tough thing by yourself a lot of times so what we've done is we've kind of tied ourselves all together more than we've all we've always been able to dealer trade cars and everything and we've always talked about each other's stores but we're basically now we're we've we've gone in and consolidated everything so if you want to find all of our stores you can go to the writings autogroup.com which has all six of our dealerships in there uh, my brother nick over in jack Jacksonville, Decatur, Pena, Taylorville, Monticello, and us, you know, we're all six are on one website. When you pull up the, the, the main website that has all of us on there, Jake, you guys can find over 1,800 cars at one time. Um, so, you know, if, if you're looking for a vehicle, here you're in Lincoln, Illinois, you're in New Holland or Middletown or wherever, and you're looking for a vehicle, and you find it on that site, you just call the guys here at the dealership, and we'll go get that car for you. So you don't have to go all the way to Pena or all the way to Monticello or whatever. We dealer trade amongst ourselves all the time, so it really makes it easy for all of us, all of us to, to, to really, you know, I couldn't carry 1,800 cars, obviously, right. on my lot. As big as our lot is, we can put 400 on here, but we can't carry 1,800. But but because we're all consolidating like that, we can actually offer you 1,800 cars to choose from all the time. Very nice. And I can actually speak to this. Uh, about a year and a half ago, I uh, picked up uh, another brand, but it came from the Examus family here that I found online at one of the family dealerships. And they brought it over here, got it all cleaned up for me. And actually, I think gave my wife a nice uh, bouquet of roses. Actually, and gave I her mean, a dozen roses. That's wow. right. That's yeah, right. That's kind I of our finishing touch for the ladies. I tell you what, went a little above and beyond there for me. So It is Mother's Day, too. So come out and buy a car <laughs> and give them a car and the roses, you know. Well, it works great for the guys because, we'll, you know, we'll, t we'll tell the ladies now, now your husband had us get you these. <laughs> so we, we we make Jake the hero in this situation because you, you know I need all the help. I absolutely, I tell you. <laughs> so kill two birds with one stone. Get on out here, Jim Examus Ford, and get that uh, mother of yours a new vehicle. Uh, just what kind of some of the deals that you have going on, Jim? Uh, 
that they can come out and you know look and see. Sure, sure. We've we've talked about a lot about the uh, the new vehicles. You know, with the zero percent on this on the uh, for sixty months and even cash back with that. So there's a lot of stuff on the new. And you know, Ford has got so many new vehicles right now. Actually, we're sitting right across from from a really neat uh, the little uh, Ford. Uh, some of the little focuses and the fusions and the, these, you know, these cars are getting up to, some of our hybrids are getting up to 47 miles to a gallon oh, wow. in town and on the road. So uh, just some really neat things. A couple of days ago I was out, uh, because I like to drive the new stuff just so I can talk about them. And we were, uh, Matt and I took a little ride. We've got the new 2000 right around the corner from you guys, 2013 Lincoln MKZ. And Lincoln is totally redoing their lineup from top to bottom and they've come out with this new this new Z car <clears throat> and it has a full folding I think it's the gray one I'm not sure where it's at it's up front now uh, it has a whole retractable top oh, nice. so oh, instead wow. of just having a sunroof you hit a button and the whole top raises up about two inches and it's on tr on a track and you can't even see the tracks unless you know it and the whole top will slide back over the rear glass so then you have that whole open air feel like you would on a convertible nice. but it's still if it's something comes up you just pu push the button and the whole top comes back up settles back down in there and some a full dark tinted glass top so just some nice. of the stuff that yeah oh my gosh really cool car perfect for us guys with full heads of hair that's right absolutely i love to have that all four of mine blowing <laughs> in the wind at one time it's it's wonderful get that uh, bald head a little tan <laughs> or burnt but you know we got a lot of uh, mustang convertibles are really popular and, and Today, this afternoon, I think it's going to probably be a perfect afternoon Absolutely. for a, a Mustang convertible. We've got a good selection of those. And the Ford Fusion, which is one of the hottest vehicles out there. And then the ladies, I tell you, I got my wife, my mother-in-law, my wife, and my son's girlfriend all are driving new or slightly used 2013 Ford Escapes. They redesigned that vehicle this year. And I tell you, the ladies just love that just love that vehicle so just really some uh, some neat stuff there but there's just a lot of you know and i've got just odds and ends of everything in there but like i said 1400 over 1400 pre-owns and uh in the group and over 400 new in the group so there's just uh, like i say just a, a menagerie of things for you guys to choose and pick from well you guys this truck selection you got a really nice truck selection here you we've, know we've got a great well we, we i tell you what you know look at the kind of the area of country that we're that's in exactly and that's right. <laughs> you're gonna sell a lot of a lot of trucks right over there you can see a brand new 2012 that is a yeah i'm drooling on that is, online right is now is that thing just not awesome you look looking. good in that yeah you'd probably <laughs> have to get a step ladder to get into is it is that thing diesel because that is a I'm diesel saying. yeah i'm telling you four-wheel drive super cruise so that means it's got the four full doors in it talk about a workhorse you know the, the ford that. truck has been the number one selling truck in the in the world for thir over 35 years and it is the number three selling vehicle in the world uh two little cars and matter of fact the focus being the number one selling car in the world so we have two of the top three vehicles in the world that se our sellers we've got set on our lot today so there's really a lot of good things going on with ford right now but it is a sharp looking truck jake could you, could you haul furniture in that, Jake? Oh, you could. I'm, you I'm, could. I'm, I'm focused on this truck. We'll we, could get get a, we could get you about oh, he, He's got it pulled up I'm instantly. I'm telling you, like that. Thing, Jake <laughs> is on it. We're talking about the Ford. I look over, and he's got it up on the internet got, looking at the engine. This thing's unbelievable. Wow. I mean, my goodness. He's going to have his checkbook out here in a minute. I hope your wife's listening because you might come home with a new uh, Ford truck. That's exactly I right. I think he carries that much cash with him. He, cash. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. even need a checkbook, does he? I'm, I'm in furniture, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't take trades. You're not, not going to get a truck for a sofa. I don't yeah. know. Don't talk to Matthew. He's <laughs> looking for some furniture. We may, he's looking we, furniture. We may be doing a little barter in here. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. No, this is a bad boy truck. 6.7 liter power stroke diesel. I tell you that I always tell everybody if you can get the rope around the house, we'll pull the house with yes, that. Yes, sir. <laughs> just, just a. Really what else you got? What kind of deal? You, you said you had a couple other deals. You know, Did you we've mentioned anything. Yeah, else? we've got. You know, we've got your choice. You can take a, a Ford Fiesta, a Focus, a little Mitsubishi Eclipse convertible now, or oh, a Chrysler yeah. 200. All four of those vehicles, and I think we've got like eight of them in stock and on this lot right now at under fifteen thousand oh, dollars. Nice. Now those are going to carry the balance of the factory warranty and everything. They've been through the shop. We inspect everything before it, it goes on the lot. So we've changed the oil and filter. We've checked the brakes, the windshield wipers. You know, we do all of the things that, that really need to do so you once you get the car you've got a, a nice car to just drive for a while you don't yeah. have to worry about taking care of it and, and that's another point I, I i apologize i hadn't brought it up but <coughs> the services you guys offer out here it's not just get your oil change stuff well i mean 
We've got, you know, and uh, here's a, a thing that uh, that makes our shop a little unique, I think, is is Ford has a certification program for their technicians, and their highest ranking is Senior Master Certified Tech. That is the number one thing you can get. Most stores aspire to have one or two of those guys in their shop, whether they're a large Chicago or St. Louis Metro dealer or something. We have three Senior Master Certified Techs in our shop. One gentleman is just about there, so we will soon have four. And one of them, George, actually was an instructor for Ford Motor Company for about 18 years before he got out of that side and decided he just wanted to start turning a wrench again instead of teaching how to turn a wrench. So he not only is he senior certified master technician, he was a senior master a certified instructor for Ford Motor Company. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we can not only, we'll not only sell you a great product, but if in the, the uh, event you might have a little something wrong other than just an oil and filter or front end alignment, I've got guys back there that either they're certified in, in trannies or engines or the diesels, whatever. You know, we've got a, a shop that can just do anything. And we are the only sales service and shop in Logan County that sells new vehicles that also has a collision center. Very nice. So and I think a lot of people don't realize that, that it's not just <coughs> collision and uh, trues, but it's also, you guys are also... Absolutely. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Well, that's a big deal. That's why I thought we should mention so that. So it's one, it's one stop shopping. We <coughs> can take care of you from... Uh, well, you know, we've got people that are on their third generation just since I've been here, since Kathy and I took over the store in 1989. And um, we've got third generation already buying cars from us now. And uh, it's just it's and it's so easy to do because the guys, most of my guys here, you know, like Dale Cooper in the parts department, just to give you an example. Dale started here at the dealership a week before I did, mm -hmm. and uh, is still here. And we've got a lot of guys that are 10, 15, 20 years with me. Uh, some of my techs that we were talking about earlier started as our oil and filter tech and have just continued to move the way up. It's the only job they've had since yeah. maybe out of high school. And they started as an oil and filter tech, and uh, we've sent them all to all the school and the training and everything. So, uh, you know, you can walk in the front door or you can go into the service department or the parts department, and there's a good chance if you were here five or six or eight, ten years ago, you're going to still see the same person and get to talk to them again. Well, once again, we are at Jim Examus Ford in Lincoln, located 2301 Woodlawn Drive. Big blowout sale going on here today and even the rest of the month. So get on out here, get that new Ford, Lincoln, uh, look for their used selection. Uh, Jim, thanks for stopping by, taking Absolutely. a few minutes with us. Uh, a lot going on today here. Uh, I know Jim and Jeff number two are going to be sticking around uh, till noon or one. So uh, cheap seats are here till 10 o'clock, so stay tuned. We'll be right back with some sports talk. You're listening to the Cheap Seats on 96.3 WLCNonline.com. Good morning, sports fans. Back here, Jim Examus Ford. You're in the cheap seats with Scott Kirby and Jake, the furniture guy, Johnston. Kind of a weak opening by Jim. He needs he need to step his game up. Well, I'm not going to lie. You know, you got to mix no, it up we, a little we, bit. No, we're not slacking. You're wanting it's vanilla Saturday. ice back. It's Saturday. We are not slacking. All right. It is Saturday. It's a beautiful morning. The sun is shining. I don't know how long it's going to last, <laughs> but it is shining. It's nice. So get on out here to examine Ford and get that new vehicle. All kinds of them out here. Jake's eye, still eyeing that truck. Oh, my God. That thing is beautiful. It is. The annual LCHS Rail Splitter Basketball Camp is accepting registrations now through May 22nd uh, for the camp to be held for boys and girls who would be in grades 1st through 10th for the 2013-2014 school year. For more information on the basketball camp beginning May 28th, please contact Lincoln Railer Head Basketball Coach Neil Alexander at 217-732-4131, extension 233, or 217-732-583. Three, well, let's talk some sports here. Uh, just got a text from uh, Coach Courtright. They are up in Peoria right now, right. getting ready to play. Well, it'd be later on today. They're going to be playing at the Peoria Chiefs Stadium, O'Brien Field, around 5 o'clock. Uh, they're playing after the SIU Bradley game. Yeah. And Lincoln native Wes Neese, he's, uh, he plays for SIU, and they play at 2. So the Lincoln High School team will be playing after that. Uh, not not sure who, sure who they're playing. I think maybe Olympia. Okay. Maybe. Uh, not really sure, but th Beautiful that's where field. they're at. 
Yeah, great field. Uh, I've never been down on that thing, but that is, I mean, it's that's a professional stadium yeah. there. I mean, it is nice. Uh, O'Brien Field located Peoria, Illinois. They went down last night and uh, stayed all night. And you know, that's got to be a pretty big, you know, deal right there just to go you know, play on that field. Just a little change of scenery. Uh, they played U High uh, this past week and uh, lost four to three. Uh, from my understanding, uh, there was a controversial call at the plate. Uh, you know, the umpire said he was safe, but everybody else thought he was out. Uh, so that never happens. You know, you know what else never happens in baseball? Uh, two pitching changes without a pitch. <laughs> without a pitch. Uh, yeah, that's something <laughs> else. Uh, big issue right now. And those umpires were suspended a couple of games. Yeah. Uh, Jake referring to a game the other night. It was at Toronto. Or uh, no, I believe it was Anaheim Angels uh, at Houston. At Houston, that's yep. right. Uh, they brought a relief pitcher in and didn't throw a pitch. And well, he switched batters, right? You know, so he, he he changed it up on him right after right after the basically right after that he brought the relief pitcher in. Uh, so the manager of the Astros said, "Hey, you know, if he's throwing a lefty up there, I want a lefty." Yeah. So he calls in a lefty <laughs> and. You can't do that. <laughs> and they let him do it. And, and uh, you know, I was actually, they, they had a, uh, I was flipping through all my baseball stations. I was actually on the game at that time. And I was like, what, what, what just happened? And then five seconds later, here comes Sosha running out of the dugout, and he's irate. And uh, what's crazy is they got together two yeah. or three times. They got together know? and talked about it, and they still allowed it. Yeah, they so. still allowed it, which, I mean, you know, suspensions and fines, I guess, well, for the entire crew. umpiring crew, mm -hmm. uh, I guess it's well-deserved. Yeah. You know? I mean, you know, if you're you're getting paid and you got to know the rules, and yeah. that, that's just a, a basic common rule that anybody knows. They are paid knows. handsomely. So uh, yeah. that, that, that's a job that would be a pretty good gig for anybody that enjoys baseball in any way to get because you are paid extremely well just to go around and hang out. Right. You know, so. Well, let's keep it with baseball. We can talk some Cubs, Cardinals, uh, Cubs at Washington Nationals. Uh, lost yesterday 7-3, to 7-2, to two, something like that. Uh, you know, I got my Cubs sweatshirt on. I am a Cubs fan. Really? So, you know, even though they do stink, uh, they, they split it with the Cardinals just a couple days ago, you right? You know what? That's a good point. They did. You know? They split, and they should have won that second game. They should have lost the first game. Okay. Well, it's even. They split. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really. I mean, uh, Lance Lynn gives up basically one hit and having yeah. to go over the fence in that windblown ballpark. So uh, he had a dominant game and just one bad pitch, you know, and, I, yeah, and, the, and the Cardinals weren't hitting. So. How can you only have a two-game series? You know, they just throw that in the middle of a you, week like that. You know, actually, it's it's kind of a smart move how they actually uh, uh, did it. If if you actually look at the whole schedule down the road, they'll actually have a four game series towards the middle to end of July. Okay. With that being said, you're going to have warmer weather. You're going to have all the fair weather fans out there. The kids will be out right. of school, so the stands are going to be absolutely jam packed. Whereas, you know, uh, one of the games it was a sellout. The other game it was just. There, there was fans there, but it wasn't packed. It wasn't a sellout. I mean, it right. may have been a sellout technically, but but no, they they, they, they sold the tickets. People just didn't that's show. That's exactly right. So you know, during the su during the summer, the the warmer days, you're going to have that place just buzzing. And you know, with the new uh, schedule, how the MLB has it planned out, with you know, the Houston going band. to yeah, yeah, there's an interleague interleague game, you know, every day. Yeah. So that kind of shuffles your schedule around where you have to slide these two game series in just to get your games in you know to yep and you don't see that a whole lot you know it's usually three or four game series with a you know a day off here and there but uh i just thought that was kind of odd and a lot of people ask me you know that's a big rivalry why are they only having a two game series well you know you just heard it from jake you know that's going to pay dividends towards the end of the year when the cubs are fighting for that first place <laughs> finish with the Cardinals. That's just going to bring more you mean people the, in. The first place finish to figure <laughs> out who gets the higher draft pick. Yeah, or what are well, you talking? I mean, I don't, I don't get what you're talking about right there. I, you know, it's finish. still early. What the hell's wrong with you? Well, speaking of the Cardinals, uh, Shelby Miller last night, oh, uh, a one-hit shutout. Yeah. Uh, the first hit of the game was the first batter, Eric Young, was uh, just a little blooper. A was that broken bat, broken bat blooper, blooper to the to right field just over the second baseman and it was lights out after that set down 27 oh in a row I mean, i'll be honest i mean i 
I, I love baseball and I love pitching, to be honest, as well. Watching good pitching is always fun to me, uh, which it isn't to everybody. I understand that. But defense means something to me. And he dominated. I mean, there was it, it was only a three to nothing game. Mm -hmm. It felt like 15 to nothing. I mean, it felt like these guys had no chance. I don't even know why they're at the ballpark. I mean, Carlos Gonzalez, who I think is one of the better hitting outfielders in the entire major leagues. He's one of my favorites. And he looked silly at bat. I mean, Shelby Miller had everything moving, and it was breaking hard. And Yadier Merlina was calling the right pitches on everything, man. It was it was something fun to watch. Shelby Miller, the rookie sensation. Uh, what has he done, the, you know, previous starts? I mean, is this just something he kind of just well, no, unexpected, he, or has he honest, been pretty he, he's solid? A, he's under a 2 ERA uh, through, I think, six starts now with four wins or five and two. Five and two? Yeah. And, I mean, he's he's been – Absolutely dominant. Well, I Cardinals, mean, they're, they've had some good starting pitching. It's yeah. just when you get to those later you know, innings where you bring your bullpen in what? is where they're having some trouble when you lose a, you lose Mott. Uh, didn't they just lose another? Well, they, they lost Mott for the year. He's done for the year. but uh, And then they had a couple guys that just weren't living up to their standards. And to Mazalek's uh, credit, he said, you know what, well, we'll, we're going to retool. We're going to change a couple things. They brought in a couple of young guys, and these young guys are uh, they're electric. I mean, that's that's the best way to say it. They brought in a couple of starting pitchers that are absolutely electric. And yeah. uh, I guess you guys see one on Sunday, Carlos Martinez. He, I mean, he came in, and he had uh, the Brewers fans ooing and eyeing. And, I mean, that's there at the stadium, and, they, you know, they were quite impressed. He's hitting 97, 99 on the gun, and a breaking ball that starts at your forehead and ends up on the opposite corner of the plate. You know, it, it was it was quite impressive. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a – it's a fun time to see Cardinal pitching right now. They've got a lot of it in the in the system, and they've got, to be honest, three more guys that are down there that are MLB ready, right. which is, you know, it, what a luxury. They're ranked number one as uh, in far, as farm systems in the major leagues right now as well. And, you know, they do have one of the best, if not the best, pitching coaches in baseball, and he just seems to – Lundquist? Well, hey, Duncan's hey, not there Duncan's anymore. Duncan's not there. Oh, well, no. see, but I, that tells you but, what I know. But well, if they still had Duncan, where'd he go? Did he retire? He uh, actually still his wife had a bad stint with cancer, and he okay, uh, well. he actually just basically called it a retirement. I we'll see you. if Larusa yeah. comes back out if he goes with him. All right. Well, I don't. But no, Lula, actually, the the thing about the Cardinals organization is from bottom to top, they draft. Uh, how they draft is for their organization. These guys come in, they go into the organization, and they are made for what they're doing. They're, they're breaking ball pitchers or they're flamethrowers one way or the other, and they're in a system that says, okay, you're this kind of pitcher. We're not going to change you because that's what we draft you as. We want you to grow as that. And then they just blossom them. And here, since Mosaic's taken over and made all these changes, it's amazing how they progress so much faster with everything touching one, the drafting's touching the, the minor league system, the minor league systems with the big league system, and it all flows in the same direction. So well, okay, that's way too much Cardinal baseball talk. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I can tell. I can do. <laughs> we can go into hitting if you want. I, mean, I know some hitters here too. But well, let's go over some standings. <laughs> your, your St. Louis Cardinals are in first place, uh, three games over Cincinnati, who are in second. Uh, yeah. Pittsburgh, uh, a close. Third, or they're three and a half back. Milwaukee, which is surprising, six and a half back. I thought they'd be better than that. And the Cubs, uh, the cellar dwellers, at 13 and 22. And we're only not, ooh, nine and a half games back. So, yeah, you can lose a championship in April. Well, and, and, and <laughs> but you can't <laughs> win one. So, and, uh, you know. The Cubs aren't even the worst in the National League right now. No. Miami's actually going to well, beat up. Yes, and I th did we sweep Miami? Or no, I think we took three out of four. But, uh, yeah, I wish we could play Miami and St. Louis every week. We'd have a pretty good record. They actually have the same record as the Anaheim Angels, though. Yeah, see, With it's all, still we, early. You know, you know, Anaheim, hey, look at their, uh, their roster. You know, Anaheim Josh Hamilton, <laughs> Pujols, and... I don't, what's their payroll about 300 million oh my goodness it's, it's way up there yeah and absolutely yeah they're weaver and wilson and yeah their their payroll's way up yeah there. so uh enough baseball talk <laughs> cut <laughs> he's cut. done are we in summertime yet what in the world yeah it's only may and we got a long summer ahead of us so oh, I, but I you know there's a lot of cardinal fans out there and we're here to please the listeners so we'll talk some cardinal baseball
you know. <laughs> yep. Moving what, on. What about the guy from Tampa Bay last night? Four and two-thirds inning with, like, what, 13 strikeouts or something like that? Something ridiculous? Four and two-thirds inning. Four strikeouts in one inning. Yeah. You don't want to talk about that? Well, let's talk about it. I mean, that's unbelievable, <laughs> man. Come on. <laughs> well, and then another Holy thing is, you know, that? baseball's been played for – 100 years, over 100 years. Uh-huh. And did you see the Toronto pitcher last night get hit in the head? Uh, yes. And, you know, now the talk is, well, we need to make those pitchers wear helmets or something. And <sighs> just, you know, off-the-wall talk. This game's been played for yeah, years and years and years. That sh- it don't happen every day. No. But, man, when it does it, like it that. It is happening more often, though. Well, uh, guys are bigger, stronger, exactly faster. Right. The, the, the bats are, are – balanced better right. as well uh and who knows i mean that's to be honest the ball may be wrapped a little tighter than what it used to be mm-hmm. i mean that that would make it come off the bat even harder well hey uh, let's just put a pitching net in front of the mound yeah you I mean, know like that, batting well, practice and, and, and that's just, that's my problem with it is you know it, there's you, only so much you can change in baseball i mean it's just a a sport that's been around for years and years and years and you know it's just yeah, it's the name the, of the game it's scary man i, I, I don't see them doing anything in unless the unfortunate really happens. Right. Uh, but, you know, it is something you'd have to consider, mm-hmm. you know, or at least giving them a flak jacket. <laughs> well, if you haven't seen the what we're talking about, you can go on YouTube and type it in. Yeah. And it's it's not real graphic. It's just scary. Uh, fractured skull. And, you know, if it would have went three inches the other way, it could have uh, been fatal. But yeah, you, you don't. Boy, really you, are, you are on it. Yeah. You are the fastest internet looker upper i've ever seen I we're know. talking about it and boom jake's got it pulled up hap j.a hap j.a hap astro former uh philadelphia philly actually I like that guy he, he's pretty pretty decent little pitcher man but yeah that that got him good yeah that's uh, pretty scary he's doing good he's out of the hospital fractured skull so who was the guy last year pitcher for the pirates burnett right a.j burnett he got hit, and he was basically out for the rest of the year. Really? And uh, well, it, he came back, but he, he wasn't right. And because uh, he's with the Pirates. Now, they're yeah, always good at the there. beginning, and then they just fizzle. I wouldn't say they've always been good at the beginning either. Well, These last couple of years they have been, but not, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that uh, center fielder they have, I wish we had him. McCutcheon? McCutcheon? Gosh, oh, he's good. Yeah, the Cub, uh, Cub faithful last night. We're talking about uh, Jacoby Ellsbury signing with them at the end of the year. Oh, we're going to go. That's going to be a big splash. What the heck? You want a 30-year-old outfielder that's broken down? I mean, he hasn't played a full season, I don't think, since he won the MVP. How did we get back on baseball Cubs? I'm sorry. I, mean, I, th- I thought we were going <laughs> to move this around what a little bit. What were we bit. talking about? I don't Who know. are you? Well, I tell you what, we do need to take a commercial <laughs> break. <laughs> we'll come back. We'll talk some NFL. We'll talk some NBA. Uh, I found another hockey fan in uh, Lincoln. Oh That's Mr. Examus. He's a big big uh, Blues fan. Uh, they lost last night to the Kings. Kings take that series. So let's take a commercial timeout. We'll be right back. This is the Cheap Seats, 96.3 WLCNonline.com.